We're going? Nice. Welcome back, guys. Video two. I hope you enjoyed the introduction. I apologize if I was a bit timid, but this is all for us right here, us PTSD guys and girls. We are all in it right here, right for us. No one else, just for us. Bengals, Rams, Super Bowl, 56. Fourth quarter. I have the uh, volume turned down on the TV because I don't want any copyright issue nonsense. Watching the Super Bowl here. I hope you guys are watching it as much as I am. I'm sure you're watching it, so you'll probably watch this uh, video after we're, we're, uh, we're off the air here. Nine minutes left. No, man. Yeah, you're not kidding, honey. Nine minutes. Rams 16, Bengals 20. What a, oh man, I, I can't believe it's this close. I honestly thought the Rams were going to blow away with this one just because I have a Aaron Donald penetrating through the pocket and just annihilating Burroughs, which has not happened tonight. Completely shocking how Aaron Donald has been put to a stop. And look at, 99 is not going anywhere past the offensive line. I can't believe what I'm watching. The captain of the defense has been held to a minimum. Completely shocking. And the Cincinnati run game, unfortunately just the same, shut down. Um, I'm, 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 I'm stuttering just because I can't believe what I'm watching. I did not expect such a close game and Aaron Donald to be stopped. What a game. Oh my God. Eight minutes left. Rams 16, Cincinnati 20. How many timeouts are left? All three. Each, each team has got all three timeouts. Third and two at the, where the hell are they? At, a, at the 35, Bengals first down. There you go. The short game has been good for the Bengals. Not the run game, though. The dink and dunk pass has been working for the Bengals, but you hand it off. And it's almost as if the play never even got started because the play's over just as quick. Look at all the gray hair off the offensive linemen of oh, the Rams. Oh my goodness. Those guys are collecting an ARP while they're playing the Super Bowl. First down for the Bengals at the 40. Oh, their own 40. They're playing at their own 40. Come on, Bengals. Six, oh, I yeah, know, 723 left. Ah, got held again. Nothing there. Nothing but nothing. While well, I got a little time to talk to you guys, if you need anything, any kind of support, mentally, if, if you've got emotional things going on, I'm here for you. Like and subscribe down below, please. I'm here for you. I'm going through so much. I know you are too. Don't be afraid to reach out. This is how you and I, gals and girl, pardon me, Gals and guys, this is how we can reach out. You and I together, not being judged, not being ostracized like you're not good enough because you are. All right? Back in the game here. Cincinnati 20, LA 16. I am so thankful the Bengals did not get trounced like the entire nation thought they would. Nobody had respect for the Bengals. Over three decades of nothing. They finally make it to the big show. This is awesome. They're showing replays of Burrow and how he's able to escape. <sighs> Unfortunately, not that one time, but Bengals are not out of it. Everybody counted the Bengals out before the first snap, for crying out loud. Oh my goodness. Six minutes and 37, six minutes and 37 seconds left. Cincinnati 20. Rams 16. Ball. It's a third and nine. We got uh, Rams with the ball right now. Third and nine. No, it's Cincinnati. Is it? Since, oh, see, God damn it. I'm, I'm bouncing back and forth. This half circle is filled in, so they Oh, look ball. at that. My fiance knows more than I do. You know how embarrassing that guy's is? Guys, out there, do you have wives that know more about football than you do? I'm, I'm almost married to one. She's my fiance. And I'm telling you, she, she just surprises me every day one day i couldn't figure out who's got more timeouts than the other and sure as shit my girl annie she figured it out quicker than i do who's got more timeouts than the other one because of the hash marks underneath cincinnati and la i'm just embarrassed 
I love football, guys, but sometimes, yes, I do lose track. It's my PTSD going on. Sometimes I forget who's got the ball. Cincinnati just dropped the pass right there. Obviously, they're on offense right now. Burrow had it. Burrow from LSU, that quarterback is on target. But the, the wide receiver just dropped it, plain and simple. Fourth he, down. It is fourth down. Bengals are trying to bury the Rams inside the 20 now. Bury them inside the 20. Okay, got them at the 21. That's all right. Bengals are still on top. 20 to 16. Fourth quarter, 6 minutes and 13 seconds. I got to get a refill. All right, we're back, guys and girls. We got the fourth quarter, 6 minutes and 13 seconds. 20, Cincinnati, 16, LA. I got no love for either team. I'm an Eagles fan. I don't know what you guys are going for. Personally, I want to see Cincinnati take it just because it's a 31-year drought. 31 years. Can you? I mean, I'm 39. That's insane. I can't believe Cincinnati hasn't been to the big show in that long. We're under six minutes right now. Second down. Rams got the ball. Oh, man, this, this score is so goddamn tight. It's going to be right down to the wire. This might come right down to a field goal. Stafford goes back incomplete, completely underthrown. The wide receiver's upset. I would be too. Stafford's got to bring the ball up a little more. I can't believe he's underthrowing him. Why would Stafford, who's got so much uh, experience in the NFL, F up this much? It makes no sense because Burrow, coming straight out of LSU, he's only been in the league a couple years. Burrow's been doing a much better job than Stafford from the LA Rams. Going in single eye formation with the running back coming up. What do we got here? Third and one. Why would, why would you run this play? It hasn't worked for him all day. And sure enough, Cincinnati stopped him. Why would you run the ball? The, the Rams have not done well in short games in the run game. Yep, fourth down, fourth and one. Now this is the Super Bowl. I'd go for it. Sean McVay has got his face covered up. He's going for fourth and one. Definitely going for it. Cincinnati's going to be prepared. They're probably going to line up with like four linebackers straight across the backside of the defense. They're showing like five replays of this fourth and one. Why? He's short. Come on, get back to the game. There we go. Now we're back. Cincinnati 20, LA 16, fourth and one. Stafford with a quick handoff to Cup. First down and a lot more. He got about extra five on that. It was a good fake by the LA Rams. If the Rams would have went down the middle, Cincinnati would have stuffed them. It was a good run by McVay to go around the corner, find the open hole, and an easy first down. First down, four, oh wow, four minutes and 38 seconds. This time is flying, sweetheart. Guys, girls, are you enjoying this? This is insane. Incomplete. How wasn't that pass interference on 55, the linebacker from the Cincinnati Bengals? Well, they're going to show a replay of fourth down, which was beautifully executed. Cooper Cup with the great reception there. Not reception, but he got the handoff. Excuse me. Golly. This time is going by so fast, folks. Each team still has three timeouts. I can't believe no one's calling timeouts yet to preserve some time. Cooper Cup, four receptions, 53 yards, and a touchdown. OBJ's been putting up some great yardage, too. Odell Beckham Jr., that touchdown reception in the first half. And another great pass to Cup. Eight-yard reception. That's going to be second and two. Four minutes and 22 seconds. 21 seconds. This time's clicking down. If I were the Rams, I would call some timeouts because you're going to leave Cincinnati with too much time on the clock. Cincinnati's going to come right back, jam it down your throat, and win the game. The Rams aren't playing smart ball right now. It's third and two. Okay, Rams got the ball, first down, nice play by Stafford. Stop the clocks. The Rams aren't stopping the clock. What three minutes, three minutes 53, Harris? three minutes 52, three minutes 51. Call the goddamn, I, 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 I can't, Rams score too quick. Cincinnati's going to come back and win the game. I'm telling you right now, that is a gosh darn possibility. Stafford going back to pass. Completion, of course, he's going to get tackled right there. About five-yard completion. Did the stop? Did the clock stop, though? 
Three minutes, 29, 28. Nope, clock is running. Now they also have the two minute warning, so that's technically seven timeouts right in front of everybody. Second down, three minutes and 18, 17, 16. What are they, what are they replaying here? Oh, the botched kick by LA. Oh my God, that extra point kick. Yeah, I can't believe they screwed that up. Stafford going back to pass with three minutes left. Unbelievable catch by Cooper Cup. If they don't hand this guy the MVP, they're blind. If the Rams win this game, Cooper Cup's got my MVP. God, oh, man, first down LA Rams. Where are they at on the field? Man, this clock's going so slow. 25-yard line, LA Rams got the ball. Two minutes and 38, 37 seconds left. They're going to score too quick, and Cincinnati's going to pounce on it. The Rams throw the ball. Stafford's got Cooper Cup again. I feel like I'm on replay. Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup. Sounds like a freaking tongue twister. I don't know why McVay's covering his mouth, because Cincinnati knows what's going on. They know what to expect. Second and two. Two minutes and 15 seconds left. Rams trail by four. And they might actually wait till the two-minute warning, honestly. They're probably going to try to draw Cincinnati off sides, but Cincinnati's not going to fall for it. The Rams snapped the ball. I don't know why they did that. They were given the two-minute warning. There's the two-minute warning now with the Rams down at the eight-yard line. A buck 55 on the clock. Rams are again trailing by four with a buck 55. Cincinnati, I still think they're going to win. There's too much time on the clock for the Rams to play with. We'll see what happens. I'll be right back. All right, guys and gals, we are back. Oh, watching Super Bowl 56. This has been insane. I can't believe it's not midnight. Honey, what is it? 9.45? It's only 9.45 at night. I am so shocked that no one has used a timeout yet. A minute 55 on the clock. Fourth quarter. Rams are sniffing the end zone, but the Bengals want blood. The Bengals are all over Matt Stafford like white on rice. Snap by Stafford. Toss into the end zone. Overthrown. Big time overthrown. Yeah, completely overthrown. That wasn't even close. It's almost as if he just gave up on the play. Now, before I go into the another play, guys, I just want to let you know, I'm here for you. Honestly, this just isn't about sports talk, and I'm here for you guys. If you guys need to talk about anything, email me. Like and subscribe below. Whatever you got to do to get a hold of me, please, I'm here for you. There, this entire world is against us, but PTSD folk, you're not alone. I'm here for you. I got you. I got your back. All right. What do we got here? Second and goal. Stafford going back. A small pass. Oh, where's the pass interference on 57? The linebacker had, oh man, that was all, he, honey, he was, he was molested all day in the backfield. Well, the, the referees didn't throw any yellow hankies. We got third and goal. Rams down by four. Now you all obviously think, I know I'm thinking it, what if the Rams don't get first down? Oh, man, this is going to be huge. Will they go for it if there's a fourth? This could be a game decision, ga uh, game decision play right here. Stafford wants Cooper Cup over to the left. Three, right, three wide receivers heavy on the left. Coop, uh, Stafford's got shotgun formation. He throws. Beautiful deflection on the Bengals. And they're going to call pass interference on the Bengals. The play before, that should have been pass interference. But they're going to call it on 55. Holding or prior to the pass. Holding. Defense 55. I can't believe they, the, the referees, the blind idiots... Didn't see the play before, but yet they saw 55 here. Never touch. He never touched the wide receiver. He never had his arm around his back. And the front, no, he let go right there. He let go. He never touched him. It was a beautiful deflection. No, no. The referee should have called it on the play beforehand. That's the one they messed up on. Just because the referees messed up on the one before doesn't mean you have to screw them on this one. First and goal, Stafford going back. I can almost guarantee there's a touchdown coming. Cooper Cup, touchdown. He got rocked by the Bengals, and he still held on to it. I and now there not. now is another flag. Okay. They're not counting it as a touchdown. Stafford, Stafford's chewing it up with the Bengals' defense. 
something serious is going on here, guys. It may actually come back. I, uh, well, these referees, man, come on. Give them a blindfold. They're better out looking like, with a blindfold on. What are the referees calling a flag on? There's four guys standing in a little circle like a Boy Scout powwow. They don't know what the heck is going on. These players know what's going on better than the stripes. These zebras are so freaking blind. They have no idea what's going on. 20 seconds after the play, four referees cannot figure out what the heck is going on. Okay, come on, referee. What's going on? Speak to us. Holding on the offense. It's coming back. Dead bell, per personal foul. They're going to call it back. No, F you. F you, man. No. Remains first down my ass. No way. Personal foul on the Bengals? That holding call on the Rams should have made it second and goal. Take the... Oh, come on. Boo. Freaking refs are getting paid off. Personal foul on what? Oh, horse. God, jeez, I'm trying not to curse, guys. That's just a sailor in me. I don't believe the crap that the freaking referees are pulling. Now the Rams stop the ball at the five-yard line, first and goal, with a minute, 30, minute 38 seconds left. Stafford goes back for another pass. And another gosh darn flag. I'm trying not to curse, guys. But, man, come on. Holding on the freaking defense. Automatic first down for the Rams again. You know, this is absolutely absurd. Where did they get these referees from? Pee Wee League? He held onto his jersey, but then he let go. He tugged him, but he let go. If you hold on to his jersey, that's a penalty. He let go. I don't The throw was completely overthrown. It wasn't even catchable. You know, I don't have any... I don't have a, a, a grudge on any team. Bengals or Rams. But call a clean game. Come on, refs. This is absurd. First and goal. How many times have I said first and fucking goal? I, I dropped the F-bomb. I apologize. But come on. A first and goal again. This is like the third first and goal inside the 20-yard line for the Rams. Now they're sniffing at the two-yard line. This is just a gimme. Which might actually be beneficial to the Cincinnati Bengals. Stafford only got to the one-yard line, but if I was the Bengals, I'd let the Rams score, giving you a solid minute to go back and score yourself and win yourself a Super Bowl ring. Minute left. Everyone with timeouts. I can't believe everyone still got their timeouts. Oh, there's a first timeout. Cincinnati's calling it. Yep, that's smart. That's smart. Of course, when you run the ball, the clock's going uh, clock's going to continue. He's at the one-yard line. Oh, man. He calls timeout. I hate watching this replay. There's nothing going on right now, you guys. All right, well, while, while, while nothing's going on, you guys enjoying the Olympics? I love watching that speed skating. Speed skating is intense. You're skating like what seems to be 80 miles an hour next to the guy, to the guy next to you. <laughs> it is crazy. The ski jumping, man, no way. I'm an adrenaline junkie. I love roller coasters, but that's just, that's too much. That ski jumping stuff where you're like 100 feet in the air going like 100 miles an hour. Here goes Matt Stafford, second and 10. Cooper Cup's got the touchdown. I'm actually happy about that. Cincinnati did a good job on letting them score. You have at least a minute left for Cincinnati to come back and win the game. Now, what's, what's interesting, Stafford got the touchdown to Cooper Cup. But if you kick uh, an extra point, you're going to make it only a three-point game, 23-20. to 20. You get the two-point conversion, you're forcing the Bengals to get a touchdown to get over the four-point margin. I'd go for the extra point just because I'm a wuss. I just do the safe bet. And they're, yeah, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, Rams go for the extra point. They're a wuss just like me. Extra point, okay. Somebody with, somebody with the coconuts downstairs would have went for the two-point conversion, forcing Cincinnati to get a touchdown. Now, you guys know McPherson? You ever hear him? McPherson, the kicker for the Bengals? This guy has been electric all season, especially through the postseason in the playoffs. McPherson, the rookie from Florida, he has lasered it through the pipes every single time. 
I don't think it was smart for the Rams to give McPherson the chance to tie it, put this thing into overtime. Cooper Cup has just been unstoppable, though. I don't care if the Bengals tried to stop him or didn't stop him. Cup is just like the Robin to Batman. You, 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 you just give him a cape and he'll fly. Oh, my gosh. What a game. What a game. 23 Rams, 20 Cincinnati, a minute 25 on the clock in the fourth quarter. I am so thankful it's not a blowout. Again, I'm an Eagles fan. I got no beef with anybody, but I'm so happy as a football fan, it's not a blowout. This is electric up and down the ladder. Wow. Cincinnati's going to have a chance to win this. Insanity. I hope you guys don't have to work tomorrow. I know I do, but I'll be a yawning mess. Oh, my gosh. Rams are kicking off. And keep in mind, guys, Rams have three timeouts. Bengals have two. Kicker kicked it out of the end zone, of course, like every other kicker does. Taking it at the 25. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the first half. I didn't want to record the first half because I think everyone knows. Fourth quarter, that is the quarter to do some commentary. Fourth quarter is all about excitement. Annie, my lover, she is not into football at all, and she knows the fourth quarter is all about the adrenaline rush. This is where everything goes down right here. 23-20, to 20, Cincinnati's down by a field goal. Nice oh catch by Chase. The wide receiver Chase. Burrow and Chase have been working on their chemistry since LSU, since their college days. The, the Rams are just at a disadvantage there because of all the years Chase and quarterback Burrow have had together. Look at that. He's riding the tightrope. He's like a circus actor. Beautiful run down the sideline. Yep, Chase got it, and he was smart enough to go out of bounds. When you go out of bounds, you stop the clock. Stop the clock. You don't have to waste the timeout. Minute 19 left. Again, Cincinnati down by three. Another great catch at the midfield point. Boyd with a great reception at Hank. He held on to it after getting punched at the 50. The clock's moving, though. Minute five, minute four, minute three. Cincinnati down by three, and they're at the, uh, the midfield point. McPherson's got to be practicing on the sideline. They're not showing him, but McPherson's practicing. I'm sure of it. Burrow launches it. He's got a cannon, and he completely throws it. Oh, out of bounds. What were you doing? That wasn't even close. It's almost as he had to give up on the play. I think he saw that Chase was double covered, and he didn't want to risk an interception. That's probably a smart call. So throwing it out of bounds does save time. Third and one, you don't throw the ball on third and one. Don't be Andy Reid. Uh, again, I'm an Eagles fan. Andy Reid always calls a pass play on third and one. I hate that crap. Run the damn ball. Burrow is lined up in shotgun formation, five yards back from the center. You're giving up five yards on purpose. Now the Bengals hold the ball. Oh, come on. Burrow intentionally goes back five yards for shotgun formation, turning third and one into a third and six. You had an easy one yard run right down the middle. No, you give the Rams five yards to work with, then you hand the ball off on your intentional third and six just to get stopped at the line of scrimmage. If you didn't go back on freaking <laughs> shotgun formation, it would have been first down. What are you doing? Fourth and one. This is the game, guys. This is it. Fourth and one. 43 seconds on the clock. Cincinnati's got a timeout, and the Rams still have all three. I, I'm surprised the Rams don't call a timeout just to gather themselves and get a good defensive play call. 43 seconds on the clock. Burrow's back in shotgun formation. You dumb idiot. Why are you in shotgun formation? Burrow gets thrown around like an idiot. And that's the game. Why do you intentionally go shotgun formation? There's no reason for it. 31 years, Cincinnati has not made the show. And you intentionally screw yourselves. I want to curse, but I'm trying to stay on YouTube. Guys, what in the world's going on here? 
Is anyone else pissed off at the way they're calling the offensive coordinators calling this game for Cincinnati? I, I don't believe what I'm seeing. Why would you get intentionally give up five yards? This isn't freaking preseason. This is the show. Why would you? Oh, there is Aaron Donald pointing at his ring finger. Aaron Donald's getting the ring. That's for sure. Boomer Esiason, you must be jumping out of your boxers by now. Cincinnati just completely destroyed themselves. Technically, the game's not over. 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They can still have what's called the Miracle in the Meadowlands. Again, Eagle fan here. Miracle in the Meadowlands, they can still F it up, drop a fumble, and run in for a touchdown. But I got a better chance getting a raise at work. Yep, snap, kneel the ball. And that's the game. 34, 33, 32. That's going to run the clock to zero. Sean McVay is officially Super Bowl 56 champion. I'm disgusted. Again, good for the Rams. I got nothing against them. Just how can you call such a horrible fourth and one? Third and one. Burrow steps back into shotgun formation. He intentionally gives up five yards on third and one, making it third and six. Hand the ball off. He doesn't get to the line of scrimmage. Fourth and one. Okay, guys, Cincinnati, you learned your lesson, right? You're not going to do shotgun formation again, right? Wrong. Cincinnati does the same exact thing on third and one. Fourth and one comes up. We're going to do it again. We're going to, you know what, Rams, we're going to give you five yards. Burrow steps back five yards instead of fourth and one. Now it's fourth and six. And the same exact thing happens. Don't you learn your lesson? This is absolutely ridiculous. Cincinnati, I don't want to say it. Bengal fans, I'm sorry. You deserve to lose. That offensive coordinator should be fired. I'm losing my voice. This is ridiculous. Guys, my name is Rich. If you got PTSD, like and subscribe. I'm here for you. I'm not here for anyone else in the world. I'm here for the PTSD victims, military or civilian. I respect you and God bless.